my homie chef Chris Alex Ro from Secora Gastronomia Urbana makes an amazing grilled octopus inspired by the indigenous Huichol people of Mexico, and you're about to learn how to make it. We start by completely slicing off the head of your freshly washed octopus. Next, time to season our tentacle friend. In a bowl, salt and pepper to start, and we add the special secret Secora seasoning, but you can switch it up for any seafood seasoning of your preference. Then we drizzle on the soy sauce. Oh yeah. Add some lime and a little bit of that spicy mayo sauce. Make sure to stir the octopus inside the bowl, mixing it up real good to get the flavor deep inside there. Basically, you want to drench the octopus in so much sauce that it begins to swim again. Once you feel like you really got that sauce on there, it's time to take that bad boy and place it on the grill. But be careful, mi gente. Don't burn yourself. Place the octopus onto the grill for a few minutes until the underside looks nice and crispy like this. Once both sides have a nice golden sear, time to add another Secora special sauce. But you can melt some butter with your favorite seafood seasoning instead. Chef Chris Alex Ro says to be careful with the flames here. Don't burn your eyebrows off while placing the octopus on the grill. Okay, raise your hand if you still have your eyebrows. We're going to flip the octopus one more time and place it on the grill or skillet for about five minutes. While the octopus gets a couple last grill marks, it's time to prep and cook our side veggies. It consists of carrots, mushrooms, onions, and cucumber with a little bit of sauce. You will also need some high quality butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. Grab your skillet and place it on low heat. Throw some butter and garlic in there. Mix it up real quick, add the veggies, and saute. Add salt, pepper, and the Secora special sauce, or a little bit of spicy mayo. Then you saute some more. Let the veggies rest for five minutes. Then, time for the show. Grab your skillet and prepare to plate. Start with the veggies, of course. Line them up like this. And fresh off the grill, we pick up the octopus and place it onto the plate and on top of the bed of veggies. So it looks extra good. Try to arrange the octopus to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Ooh, that looks crazy delicious. Almost done. Time to decorate. Squeeze tiny little drops of sauce onto the plate as so, making it look all sexy and whatnot. Lastly, you know Latinos go all out. Add an edible flower on top of the dish to really make it stand out. And finish off with just a little bit of herbs for the ultimate look. Just look at that beauty. Thank you, chef. It looks incredible. But how does it taste? Damn, that's good! My boy Chef Chris Alex Ro coming through. You can really taste that unique flavor of the indigenous Huichol people of Mexico. There you have it, how to make an amazing Mexican grilled pulpo. And if you're too tired to cook, hit up my friends of Secora all over LA County. Ya saben mi gente, it's your boy Chris Ortiz. Hasta la próxima!